five cents at Home Depot. As you see, it goes right over here. It's already pre-cut. What I'm going to do here is this is how it's going to drain out of the pool. I'm going to put it right in here. Look at this. This works so beautifully. Now we're going to leave that right here. Now, to understand aquaponics, we're going to have water from here going down to here where the fish are. The fish are going to urinate and poop, and they're going to put stuff in the water that's going to be needed filtered out. Nitrates, nitrite, all those good things about it. Ammonia. It's going to go up to a filter. Filter is going to be a biological filter. It's going to take the ammonia out, so we have the uh, the nitrogen nitrogen system going here, cleaning it out, so the plants can use it, and then it repeats itself. Now, that leads us to our next part. Okay, let me put this here real quick. What you need is a bucket. This was four dollars and ninety-eight cents at Walmart. Again, I bought everything brand new. I pre-drilled the holes. So, let's do this first. Remember I said that we were going to have three bulkhead fittings. Well, here, let me show you how this bulkhead fitting system works here. Unlike the other one, when we had it sticking out, we're going to have it sticking in. So let me just put this in so you'll see. Right here. Now you follow these plans, you'll make modifications. It will work. And I'll be honest with you, this seems a little stiff putting in, but that's good because that's telling me I'm going to have a better seal. See, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, there. Putting it in. Now, I have the other bulkhead fitting. Put it right here. Okay, we're going to pause here for a moment. Okay, what I have here at 68 cents, you can make these yourself out of tire tubes, but I went and bought them. 68, again, in aqua, aquatic ecosystems, half inch. Take a look, see, it goes right in here. What I'm trying to do here is I have a grommet on the other side. So it's nice and waterproof. Okay, so what I'm doing here, I'm making sure that so that's one. Now we're going to do it again with this right here. Same system, same way. Remember I told you you needed three, and there's the third. And you're probably going to drop things too, so don't worry about it. Nice PVC. Now it's a little bit stiff to get in. There it is. But again, I wanted it stiff because if it wasn't, that means there's a chance for a leak. And I don't use glue. A lot of people, I'm just nervous with glue, chemicals. So I try to stay away from it. If you're going to use a glue or something or silicone, go to an aquarium uh, one. But again, Find one that's food service safe because you're dealing with food you're going to eat. But I don't use it, and that's the reason I use two grommets or rubber there to have it. There we are. See, so I already have it in. I put the next one in right here. And then we're almost done with. So now, let me talk about something as I screw it in. In order to have a biological filter, the bacteria has to hold on to something. Um, I use screen. I found it, it works. Now that's the most expensive part besides the pump. Here it is. This is the screen. What I do with the screen, is I put it in the screen, costs for, I believe, 60, in 60 inches by 10 feet, costs $13 from Home Depot. Okay, there you are. This is the media that when the when it comes in on the bottom, 
It's going to grow in here. Grab on here and take the ammonia out. Now the next thing you need, I went to Walmart. This was the regular price. A little air stone. This cost me only five dollars. So because of the container I used, it came with a hole. As you can see, it's a ten dollar, a ten gallon container. I didn't get anything on special price because I don't know where you are. See, there it is. Now the bacteria, in order to grow, needs oxygen. That's what this is for. It needs oxygen, so we're going to place this here. This is actually ready to go. But it you should be dark because sunlight will kill it. There it is. It's very simple, ready to roll. Now, we take the pipe, okay, I, may, I cut two of these, again, these were under, I believe, 25 cents, and of course this was part of the, the, the two 10 foot lengths. What I did here, is I stick it right here, okay, the other one I stick right in here. I said half inch. Look at that. Fits right there. Just do it till it's snug. Now it's done. When you put the uh, air tube in, make sure it's all the way to the bottom. Okay, what I'm doing here is if you notice, this will this goes in. If you could zoom in and crit Eric. I want the water to go in here. I want it straight. Now, remember this device that I put on here? It's going to go just like this. I put it right on here. Okay, let me show you a little closer. Alrighty, let me give you a little closer view. As you can see, I have it into the pump. It goes straight here into this. Now, you can see why I like flexible tubing because then I could really do a lot more, but this is inexpensive. See how it goes right into here. This one, the water's gonna go right in here at angle and help turn it around. This is where it's gonna go. This is what it actually looks like without any water. Let me step back and have you a look at it. This is the system. As you can see, all right, okay. Okay, Eric, could you come and film, please? What I'm doing right now is I'm filling up the water container. The plug has been plugged in. I'm filling it in here. And I'm going to show you what this looks like as it actually works. Now, this, the, you're going to need to get some fish in here. You can go to the pet store and get it. Ten fish for a dollar, goldfish. Don't need anything else to start this off with. You need to get your water tested. In order to save money, every pet shop will test your water for free. You can go to any pool shop, they will test your water for free. What are you testing it for? You're testing it one for pH, two for ammonia, three for nitrates. Those are three things you're going to worry about right now. As you get more advanced, we have classes that get more technical. But you're going to have to get this cycled. So you're going to run it like this, at least if you don't have any fish, and you can live in a city, you're going to have chlorine in your water. So you're going to run it for four or five days. Some people say a week. But after about three days, about a day, you can put some goldfish in it. And right now, I'm just putting the water in. Okay, we're going to cut the film for a second while it fills up. As you notice, water is in it. 
what's happening here, I want you to see, the water is getting, is getting bubbled, it's getting plenty of air, right there. Also, this is how it's going in, remember I explained about it? So you can actually see it working. No, it's a little dirty because I used it before. And now there's the water coming in. Let me tell you how it looks. See, this is what it looks like inside. There's the bubble. There's the netting. Okay. Notice that's keeping the water flow the same way. But if you run into a problem and your water flow is going too fast, too high, you can always put another hole here, let's say over here, and have it drain in there to compensate it. You want it so you can actually, let me see, I'm going to show you how I'm going to secure this completely. This is what it looks like secured. You want it so um, that it goes just like that. Look at it. There it is. You want it so you can always open it and clean it if you need to clean when you clean it so you don't have to have it's all pressurized. Again, simplicity is. Okay, my son's 10 years old. Eric, will you walk there? I just want you to get a visualization how tall it is. It's not very tall. As you can see, he's waving to you. There it is. Now let's go look at one. All right, we're going to go look at one right now that is actually working. Okay, here we are. Same system really being used. And here is a uh, view. Let me see if I can catch some fish there. As you can see, we got tilapia. Look at that. Catfish. Um, some goldfish. Goldfish are great because they help prevent mosquitoes. Then here's that second one I was telling you. Look at the plants. Styrofoam, uh, you can buy that at Walmart, uh, but you buy containers uh, to hold up. I use a big container of ice any way you want to. There you are, but we're working as a system. There it is again. As you can see, it goes down here and right there, putting air into it. See, it's nice and flow. And what I did here is I did something a little different because the straight pipes, the water was going all the way in here. I didn't want that, so I just put it again. I spent 25 cents, or no, 35 cents for these. And look at that, it just goes straight there. This is where it was. I just made it just in case the second one, in case it was too powerful, because there's a pump. Again, a $15 pump, as you can see, it's just doing it. So the filters on the outside instead of inside. And as you notice, personally I'm using the food grade tubing right here because I want people to see what's going as as we teach them. And as you see it goes straight there, right there, all the way down into the system. Let me back up. And it's on a pallet just like there. Those are something I found. You can find anything you want to hold it up. It can be a table, it can be anything. And there we are. Is an aquaponic system that you can build. And I'm going to say, realistically, let's say $70, $75.